What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Truck Talk brought to you by me, inspired by Chili. I'm glad you're here this morning. I really am. Uh, thanks for all the support, guys. I love the community that we're building around these Truck Talks, and uh, thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. I want to tell you a little story real quick. Uh, I went into my local gun shop the other day to pick up my new suppressor which I'll do a review for you guys on that thing in a little while. But it took me about eight, eight months to get it. And um, the government, the ATF, finally decided that uh, they were going to let me have it. So I walked into my local gun shop to get my suppressor. And the first thing I said to the lady at the counter is I said, I heard the government finally allowed me to uh, come up here and get my suppressor. And uh, she kind of laughed about it. And then I looked around me. And there were a bunch of local law enforcement officers kind of just malingering around in the gun shop, looking at guns. I don't know what they were doing, chit-chatting. They were all in uniform, man. And believe it or not, this is crazy, <clears throat> but it kind of made me uncomfortable that they were in there. Um, and I've never really felt that before. I've always had the utmost respect for local law enforcement officers, and I've always believed that they have a necessary job and i like to believe that most of them are in it for the right reasons and that is to protect uh the citizens of their community from evil but as our absolute distrust and disdain for government uh increases we begin to look at anyone who is working for the government, especially if they're carrying a gun, we begin, at least I begin to subconsciously even view them as a threat. Um, and as somebody that I don't freaking want around me, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just telling you what I felt in that moment. And I don't like it that I felt that way because probably those men who were in there in uniform were doing the job they were doing because they care about the community that they live in. Um, why am I talking about this? Because I think it's something that we need to be conscious of. I think it's something that <clears throat> you guys who are in law enforcement need to be conscious of as the people of this nation uh, continue to see the government, and by the government, I mean all forms of government. I mean even, even down to the local level and state level, but especially the federal level, as we begin to see the government for what it actually is and the, the corruption uh, is exposed more and more through uh, the, the internet and social media channels and and the open lines of communication that we now have that basically takes the power away from the mainstream media and the propaganda that they were able to push out for, you know, the last 50 years. As that, be as that continues, or the distrust continues to deepen, uh, it puts you guys as local law enforcement in a real bad position, man. It makes people like me a little freaking nervous around you, man. And I'm a law-abiding guy. I really am. And you may not care if you're in that position, and maybe you shouldn't care, but uh, it might be worthwhile to just make the extra effort, one, to uh, make sure the people of your community know that you are not going to enforce any law that infringes upon the Constitution of the United States and the uh, natural rights of all human beings. And um, I think also... As the law becomes more convoluted and corrupt by government, you law enforcement officers, you need to pay attention to what laws you are enforcing. Uh, I think there's already tons of laws, laws on the books that you enforce that infringe upon the natural rights uh, and infringe upon the Constitution of the United States, and you're enforcing them. And it's okay to say, I ain't going to freaking enforce that law. 
Um, as a matter of fact, we could stop it all. You guys could stop it all if you banded together as law enforcement across the nation and said, and, and when a law comes down that's not justified, you, you all say, united, say, I'm not going to freaking enforce this. Well, that leaves the freaking turds up in Washington, D.C. or in the courthouse of your local government. That leaves them pretty powerless, man. Because you guys, law enforcement, you're the ones, you are the, you are their strong arm. The cowards that sit behind desks and form these laws, they have not the ability to, do, to enforce them without you. <clears throat> Just some thoughts I had this morning, man. I hope y'all all took this the right way. I'm not saying the way that I felt in that scenario was the right way to feel. Um, I'm just telling you it's a byproduct of my increasing distrust in all in the intentions of all government. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. If you got something out of this episode, go buy a hat, buy a t-shirt. It's 307project.com. We got to keep chili in the daggone dungeon packing orders, man. I love you guys. Enough said.